Green Bee Explorer and we are back in the garden. This time we're going to take a look at Shasta daisies. These are beautiful flowers that bloom from midsummer to the end of summer and they actually have a few sets of blooms that occur throughout the weeks. This is my first set of blooms and you can see some of them aren't looking too nice anymore. I'm actually going to deadhead these so the flower doesn't focus on creating seeds out of these it'll cr focus on creating more flowers. Now where do I cut the Shasta daisy at? Some flowers you can only cut them um, one leaf down, other flowers you cut the lop the whole thing off. With the Shasta daisy what I'm gonna do is they actually already have buds coming in at the very very bottom but I'm not gonna lop off the whole plant to the very very bottom because I want to still give it its leaves to continue growing. So what I'll do is I'm going to only cut a few leaves down where my deadheads are. Oh, I'm sorry, where my dead flowers are. That is, that's how I'm deadheading. And it won't do anything more with this. So, and that way a little bit more sun can get down to my new blooms too. Uh, also, but my flower can continue blooming throughout because all of this ranges off of one stem. And that one stem has a whole little bushel of flowers. What's also great about a Shasta daisy is you can cut them, if you want to, down to where the base of the stem comes out of the main stem. And you can actually pot, not pot, um, vase these flowers as well in water. So you can get them just before they start blooming or as they're blooming. Um, cut them down to the bottom, take off the first set of leaves, and place them in water, and they should bloom for about a um, week to 10 days. Very fun plant throughout the summer. We're back with the Shasta Daisy, and I just finished deadheading. You can see I've cut off quite a few of the flowers. But flower itself lo still looks really nice. I still, if I wanted to, could cut these off, cut that off. And you know what? I'm going to do that with you right now. So we'll cut off one more set. So watch me come in. Coming in and just snip. And we'll do the same thing with this one will come in and I will just snip not too high not too low and this will give you a better view of where the base or the main one was branching out and then it had one two one two three four five is still alive and I think one more flower coming off of that one stem. 